Hello, this is the quarterback film room here. We're, we're, uh, we're going to take a look at Blake Bortles of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we're going to run through five plays from the 2014 season, his rookie year, and to see what he did well. And maybe some areas that he needs to improve upon heading into his second year under a new offensive coordinator as well in 2015. The first play was the uh, first game here against Indianapolis, week uh, three of the season. So this is just going to be at the snap. Obviously, they have a a free edge rusher that is not accounted for. It's a um, single high look with a strong safety down against his two-receiver look. Bortles, watch what happens. It's a design rollout into the blitz, but Bortles is able to make something out of nothing, spin back around, and improvise out of structure to make a 25-yard completion down the field to his running back. Okay, this is just this is an area that Bortles really ex um excels in because he's a great athlete and he has top level instincts and he can th he can also throw on the on the run well okay so that's a play where uh, you know he really made something out of nothing okay well, let's go to our next clip of Bortles here it's it's actually next week at San Diego as you can see here again shotgun snap stands in the pocket evades moves subtly and finds his open receiver down the field so he keeps his eyes down the field. Okay, We'll see from the end zone copy. His eyes initially go down the middle of the field. He feels the pressure. Subtle movement. And he throws off balance to an open receiver. Again, it's showing what Bortles can excel with Okay, at this stage of the, of the game. Movement out of structure. And his arm is very, very strong. In the very next play against San Diego... A play action look in the red zone, and Bortles shows that he can throw with touch to the tight end, streaking to the corner of the end zone. Okay, so that's a really good throw by Bortles there to um, put that thing to a spot with touch. Okay, next play. We go to the Miami game later on in the season here. This is a designed down the field route concept against a specific coverage as as you can see we'll rewind it back here again it's going to be the single high look against a condensed two by one formation portals keep his eyes down the middle of the field hits the receiver with anticipation and timing very good throw by blake and we're going to go to the cleveland game in a situation where maybe he could have done things a little bit better Late in the ball game, and uh, we're gonna try to find that play again. Shit, we can't find it. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Here it is. All right. So as as we can see, the single high look pre snap heavy blitz coming to his vision on the right, but Bortles stays with the right side route, and he takes a sack when his slot receiver was wide open, streaking down the hash. So this is just a nuanced veteran situation where he needs to realize pre-snap one, two, three balls out to the open guy. Okay, So that's just a learning opportunity for Blake, uh, but it's something that he struggled with a little bit during last season was just those before the snap, PhD level, knowing where to go with the football on time things. We're going to have one more throw. It's going to be later on in the year at Indy, early in the game. All right, this is a play that I want you to take a look at because as we can see, we've got man-to-man -man coverage there at the top of the screen pre-snap. Plus, Blake is under center. So we've got man-to-man -man press. And he should see that, and that should be, that should turn into his primary read on the fade ball against this single high look. But he sticks with his tight end, Mercedes Lewis, against a great corner, Vontae Davis. And watch what happens. Pick. So all in all, a lot to like about Blake heading into this year, as we saw. Um, I have him ranked as my 26th best overall quarterback.